Hi, I'm Monica Christofferson with Efficient Organization, and I'm a professional organizer, and I want to talk to you about three things that you can get rid of today. I'm going to do a quick screen share here. Okay, what three things can you get rid of today? Let's find out. First off, things that you don't use. What can that look like? It could be things you don't like. Could be things that are no longer your style, your taste, don't fit in within your home or into your closet. Could be a purchase that was a mistake. So you bought something, you thought it looked good in the store, you get it home, didn't work out. Maybe it's clothing and it's not comfortable, shoes, not comfortable, and then it's just taking up space. Could be a gift that you don't like. This can be hard for people because they feel guilty about getting rid of something that someone's given but they did it with good intentions. It strengthened your relationship when they thought about you and you accepted the gift. It doesn't mean you have to keep it forever. So if you don't like it, you have a duplicate, it's not your style, it's okay to pass it on to somebody else who will appreciate it. It could be clothing that doesn't fit. So it might be clothing that's too big, too small. If you're close to that size, maybe you're holding on to it. But if it's something that you don't really see yourself ever fitting in, or by the time you do, it's not in style, might be time to just let it go. That good old Marie Kondo and her does it bring you joy. That is a great benchmark. Think about that when you're holding things up and making decisions. Does it bring me joy? If you're not using it and it doesn't bring you joy, you're probably not going to miss it when you let it go. All right, what is the second type of thing you can get rid of? Items that you have a negative association with. It could be something that you've been holding on to from a negative time in your life. Maybe it was a stressful event. You're still holding on to that item. It could be you look at it and you just get these negative feelings. You feel sad, you feel mad, you feel upset, you feel stressed. I've had clients that show me things and they tell me the story and it brings them back to that time and they're upset again and then they still hold on to it every once in a while. So probably time to let that go. Now you might be sad about something because it's from somebody that you loved and they passed away but that's a little different. It's probably still considered a keepsake. It could be, number three, that it's unsafe. It's something that's broken. If it's broken beyond repair, it's time to let it go. If it's something you can fix, then have it fixed. It might be unsanitary things, things that should go in the garbage, not hygienic. It could be that it has mold or mildew. I've had a client who recently had a box of pictures that had gotten wet and that was very sad because it was in a cardboard box and it had to be tossed. It could be rodent damage. Usually once those little rodents get into things, we don't really wanna keep the stuff that they've gotten all over and damaged. So it's okay to let these things go. Go back to Marie Kondo, does it bring you joy? And be okay with letting it go. Let somebody else enjoy it or if it's beyond repair or unsanitary, it will have to just go in the garbage. So I hope that helps you as you're making decisions. I'm able to help clients that are local in the Seattle area and also clients outside of the Seattle area virtually. So residential organizing as well as productivity issues. And I hope you have a great day.